see how that sounds. All right, seems okay. We are officially passing out coffee. If y'all want any coffee and uh, coffee and tea and lattes, all that fun stuff. I haven't changed the menu. I need to. I need to update some strange stuff, but I think I'm gonna like try to keep that to uh, streaming video gaming season, which ends up being in the winter. Uh, we'll see. I might tweak some things here and there, but... But yeah, welcome to the Jer Cafe, the morning update. Um, I used to do this on YouTube as just a... Uh, as a way of telling y'all what I've been up to and catching up, and now with the live streaming it just becomes more of an interactive thing. Alright, let's see. Oops, I didn't mean to close that. God damn it. Okay. So, I want it. I was thinking I would show y'all my... Um, did I save it? Let's do it. I think I saved it. So we, we performed yesterday. I was, I was hoping I could maybe show the performance on stream. Question is, did I save it? Yes, here it is. All right, so let's get this over to this computer. Um, I can save to Dropbox. Yeah, there we go. Dropbox, rename it, Pride Park Perth. Cool. So that'll transfer over. We'll wait for that to transfer, but start the morning update in the meantime. I just realized I don't have my pride thing up here. Let's add that in. Gotta find a spot for it. So yeah, we got Stargen as our viewer of the month. And yeah, I guess I'm mostly excited this month about uh, performing for Pride, uh, all that kind of stuff. So feeling pretty hyped from yesterday. We had a really uh, awesome performance. Um, didn't quite get the pyramid up, you'll see, uh, but we made it work. And, uh, and that was just our first one. So we're gonna do another performance next Saturday. Um, and I think we're gonna teach some other people to do a performance with us or something too. So that'll be kind of fun. Uh, and then the weekend after that, we're doing Portland Pride. So we're driving down to Portland and doing some kind of Pride, Pride Parade stuff, uh, stunting and stuff, tender, Tender nope love. <laughs> tender tender nope love. <laughs> so yeah, Jen, would you like some coffee? Here, let me get you some coffee. There you go. <laughs> and yeah, as I said before, I'm raising funds for True Seattle all month long. Oh, there's there's Ryan. Come on, Ryan. Well, tell me about it. Tell me about it. Um, 
to start the Jerry Cafe. I did some Genshin, but I saved my gold if we want to do gold later, so. Yeah, I saved my condensed, so. Um, but yeah, so uh, raising funds for Cheers Seattle uh, all month long. Oh, Jen says good morning. Good morning. And chickens. Yeah, she's, she said she bought three more chicks or something. Chicken fever is a real thing. <laughs> chicken fever, he says. That's what the farmers call us, chicken fever. <laughs> See, the thing is, I'm not interested in the eggs, unfortunately. I'd be interested in the chicken, but... I hate butchering rooms. You hate what? Butchering them? Yeah, that's the only thing. I assume you don't, most people don't want to do that. They were free, Jen <laughs> That That's always the excuse. <laughs> they were free. That's, my, that's always the excuse. <laughs> D-Mac, did, Jen, did you accept the artist attribution for emotes? Is there anything... Oh, you can do that on Twitch, D-Mac? I'll have to look into that, too. Cool. Um, yeah, the chickens, chickens. Ryan likes his chickens. He he watches the chicken thing on Twitch too. <laughs> yeah, what is that? True. My Chicken Life or something? Yeah, my chicken. Did you know about that, Jen? There's a Twitch stream that shows a bunch of chickens all the time, like 24 hours a day or something. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, um, yeah, raising funds for True Seattle. My fundraiser, if you if you want to be a part of it, is uh, set up such that you can vote on what topics my next parody video will be. So that's kind of a, a fun uh, incentive. But yeah, that's what's going on all month, all month long for Pride Month. Jen, I befriended the hatchery worker at the festival, and I said Ancona were on my list of dream chickens. She asked how many I wanted, and I said three, and she gave them to me. Aww, that's great. They also were not selling them. Wow, that's cool. They could probably just tell that right here was someone very passionate about this, so. Well, they found someone that has a fever. Yes, chicken fever. Might have to take a look. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's really good to see you on, Jen. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'll have to check out that, that artist attribution thing, because Jen's done a bunch of my emotes as well. She's done all mine. Oh yeah, and there's my little pride timer. Oh, D-Mac, would you like some coffee? Maybe a latte or something? Let me know. I've also got my yogurt here. Started early this morning with my peas. A latte, alright. Jen's become harder to find than a shiny on a Pokemon. We had to tell her friends that was supposed to take them, and I guess she was like, no, but her husband said yes. That's funny. <laughs> well, good. I'm glad you're having fun. Being passionate about something, you know? That's what life's all about, I feel like. Finding stuff to be passionate about. And then using that to like set goals and, and do things that you want, get what you want out of life. I'm around sparsely, spending too much time researching and taking classes. Yeah, I mean, being outside, it's, it's, that's good in my opinion. They have classes? Yeah, she's been taking homesteading classes, like. Oh. For like canning and stuff. Yeah, right? canning and all kinds of stuff. They're like for chickens, it's like no way. <laughs> I don't know, do they have classes on, on chickens too? Um, Jen, as you do, love that you spend more time. Yeah, exactly. Spend more time with yourself, spending more time like in the real world and not in this virtual one, you know, as we do. Still want to do a road trip with you and Kay at some point. 
I think it'd be cool to hit some of the states around uh, Ohio, because I haven't been to them yet. Just gotta figure out when, that's the, that's the question. Went to a festival over the weekend in Tennessee. Yeah, that's right. Oh, Jen watches our chicken life too. Ah! <laughs> hey, Benoit, welcome in. Grab some latex. Latex. Happy Sunday, fun day. How's it going? Would you like a what, like some coffee or some tea, Ben? It's also a duck one. Oh, dash duck. Ah. <laughs> uh. It'll just be, oh, why? What, where's Kay? Or is she not willing to go on a road trip? I haven't seen her on either. Sunday fun day? Nah. Sunday work day. Oh no. Oh, no time for coffee? Well, here, I'll, I'll give you a quick cup. <laughs> Thanks for stopping in before you go to work, Ben. I never did get into bunnies. Cute bunny TV is oh yeah. Oh, gotcha, Jen. Okay, so she's got a new boyfriend, and it sounds like she's got that NRE going on. Then. Ah. What's good, Mac? It's the D Mac. Cute bunny TV. I'll have to look up the bunny ones. Bunnies are freaking cute. Yeah, but they're always hunting like rabbits. They're always what? Humping. Yeah. That's, maybe that's why I like them. I feel like a bunny. <laughs> About to get dressed for the day. Benoit's getting ready for work. I've been up since four. So three hours now. Oh yeah, here, so I've streamed for three hours, so yeah. Wait, that's that, is that right? Yeah. You know someone who has a big floofy bunny? I can't remember the name of the breed, but it's a big one with lots of fur. Oh, cute. I've always thought bunnies are cute, but they're also I don't know, any of the, really any animals you have kind of smell at some point. <laughs> I don't like the smells. Like I go to my friend's house who, who have dogs and it's just like, oh, I'll be back. back. They have, I think, 80 bunnies. You can feed them snacks with bits. That's so cute. Oh, the chicken one, you can do that too? I didn't know that. You can have, you can feed the chicken. Yep. We are back, need to restart. Okay, no worries, DMAC. Lila wasn't bunnies. If I get them, I think they'll live outside. Yeah, that's probably a better way to go. Um, I think, so I've had friends that they had cages like outside for bunnies. Growing up, I remember like friends that had that. But I also remember, like, so my brother had a hamster growing up, and, <laughs> and like, that whole smelly situation. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> Alright, let's see if my cheer performance uploaded. I want to add, I want to, I want to show that to y'all.
followed you from somewhere. Oh, welcome in, Onreal. Or on Onreal? Yeah, Onreal San, if I'm saying that right. Onreal Grab some latex. Latex. Um, today we're just doing a Jerry Cafe stream. It's just like a hangout. Um, would you like some coffee, some tea? Um, or a latte or a PSL? That's what I'm passing out for Jerry Cafe today. And I was just getting ready to show my performance that we did, my cheer team, yesterday. So let's pause the music while we're at it. PSL, oh, uh, pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> That's what PSL is. All right, let's see. You have hot chocolate? No, I don't have hot chocolate. Well, I need hot chocolate. <laughs> I gave you hot chocolate last night. Well, I need some virtual hot chocolate. <laughs> okay, let's see. How does... I need to check how this sounds. Start that over. So this is the performance that we did yesterday um, in the at the Pride in the Park event. I'm good with water. Can I offer you some wings? Oh, thanks. Yes, I'll take some wings. Chicken I've, wings. I've only had some peas and I'm having some yogurt this morning so far, but I'm thinking about having some pizza today. We'll see. Pizza. I have DiGiorno. I have DiGiorno in the in the freezer. Anyway, so this is a performance that me and my cheer team did yesterday. So, um, yeah, just want to show it off real quick. we were up to yesterday uh, we just had the little performance and then the rest of the day we we're at this event you know where everybody has a booth kind of thing a pride a pride event and so we had a booth and we were recruiting uh, for new members because we have tryouts coming up in um, August but yeah so I'm, I'm excited I'm pretty hyped um, We've had a much smaller team this year, and and uh, and with COVID and and that kind of stuff, like people making it to practice, sometimes it's been tough. You know, if you have any symptoms, we want we'd rather you stay home. That kind of stuff. So it's made it hard to like put routines together. So I feel like we did a pretty good job. That was our first real pride performance. Trio? Did I say trio? Oh, tryout. Tryouts, uh, so that's essentially um, you come and learn a dance and learn a cheer and then perform it. Could you turn it down, please? Sure. Um, yeah, we teach you a dance and a cheer and then you perform it in front of judges kind of thing and then you, you uh, get on the team kind of thing. So I don't know what trio is, yeah. I'm not, I'm not familiar. So if you want to enlighten us. <laughs> but yeah, so as I was saying, I'm very excited that uh, we had our first performance. We're doing another one next Saturday. Uh, 
and uh, doing them all month. And then I'm raising funds for Cheer Seattle. We're a 501c, well, 501c3 nonprofit. Um, hit the charity command if you want to know more. But essentially, uh, all the donors have a chance to vote on new topics for my next parody video, <laughs> parody music video. So that's the incentive I'm, I'm giving out. So yeah, next weekend will be another event like that, and then Sunday I'm flying to New York for work for the week. It's kind of a busy month. No, no you're always busy. <laughs> oh, it's from The Longest Yard. Okay, I've, I've seen that movie once, but I don't remember that reference. Sorry. <laughs> Show a parody! Alright. Jen, do you have one in mind? You want me to do the spinner? Yeah, it is. It's, it's extra busy. Yeah, Ryan was like, you're always busy. But this is an extra busy month because of our Pride performances and stuff. So the last weekend of Pride will be really crazy. Spinner, okay. When they had the prison football team crowds. Okay, gotcha. All right, well, Jen requested a parody, so we're gonna run, we're gonna hit the spinner to figure out which one to show y'all. Latex. No subs. All right, that's one of the newer ones we haven't seen in a while. Let's do it. Let me, uh... Do you watch an anime with me? That depends. On what? Does it have subtitles? All the good ones do. Ugh, no. <laughs> She's just like, what? A sub is a show with audio in a language you don't understand. understand. Your eyes get stuck on the <laughs> subtitles, so you can't enjoy the show. So no, no I'm sense. sure that show's awesome Sorry. if you can understand <laughs> the language they all are uh. speaking. It's too much effort, goddamn. No, I won't watch no subs. That kind of show can't get air time for oh, you me. Seen this one, Trying to awesome. sit here and relax, eating some, some snacks. snacks. Wait there, what did he say? I won't watch no subs. That kind of show takes so much energy. Looking at my phone a lot, crap, I missed the plot. That's my ADD. The dub is all you got, that is just an afterthought. And you know that it tends to change the plot. <laughs> with the cringy cute hey, voice booty. lips, laughing with just noise. Not down with their actor choice, so. No, I'm sure that show's awesome Latex. in its original style. But if you replace the voices, it's no longer worthwhile. No, I don't want no dub. That kind of show can't get airtime from me. Localization's out the window. Sure, it's no a different show <laughs> with bad quality. I won't watch no dub. So much is lost in translation, you will see. No, I'm not giving you flack. I just think they lack emotional empathy. You need to pay full attention. Oh no, hun, I'm not watching that. They don't use honorifics. No senpai, I'm not watching that. I got a soul, but I can't keep up. Oh no, hun, I'm not watching that. Watch anime with me today. Oh no, I don't want no one. No, no sub. Sub. No dub. No, no sub. Dub. No dub. No, no sub. Subs versus dogs. Dance battle. Go. <laughs> no, I won't Thanks, watch Jen. no subs. That kind of show can't get airtime from me. Trying to sit better. here and relax, eating some snacks. Wait there, what, what did, did he, he say? say? I don't want no dub. That kind of show can't get air time from me. Positions at the window, it's a different show with bad quality. I won't watch no subs. That kind of show takes so much energy. I can have my phone a lot. Crap, I missed the plot. That's my ADD. I won't watch no dub. So much is lost in translation, you will see. No, I'm not giving you slack. I just think they lack emotional empathy. 
Who won? You decide. <laughs> Who won? <laughs> Tried to make it like the epic rap battle kind of thing. The dance off. No, I won't watch no subs. Oh, that kind of oh, show yeah, can't get a little bit of from me. <laughs> Trying to sit here and relax, <laughs> eating some snacks. Wait there, what, what did, did he say? say? I don't want no dub. That kind of show can't get airtime from me. Positions at the window, it's a different show with bad quality. I won't watch no subs. That kind of show takes so much energy. Looking at my phone a lot, crap, I miss the applause. That's my ADD. I won't watch no dub. So much is lost in translation, you will see. No, I'm not giving you flat. All right, fun stuff. Thanks, uh, Jen, for requesting show a parody. Yeah, that's, what, that's one of my newer ones. Um, so we just came out of music video parody making season. And so, so yeah, this year I think I've done like five or six new songs, so it's pretty good. Um, I have some ideas for some new ones, but now we're moving straight into cosplay season. So I'm, I'm making costumes. We started on one um, on stream last Thursday. And, uh, and yeah, I'll be working on a bunch of stuff, a bunch of stuff this month. So it's even more busy because I'll be doing some of that stuff. Um, I need to start doing some sewing too. Ryan, I need to make Ryan a, a Superman out of spandex. So, but that, I got to start with a pattern. So I'm thinking about doing a stream where I do some patterning to start off. But yeah, good stuff. What, what's uh, what's y'all's opinions on subs versus dubs? I'm curious to know. I'm more of a, I like dubs, and that's that's why I wrote the song. But I, I looked up why people like subs, and I tried to integrate those into the lyrics as well. So so you have some valid reasoning on both sides, kind of thing. And then my friend uh, Pixie Bomber, uh, she she was more of a subs person, so it worked out. I like them both. Because if I don't have time to read, I prefer to... That's, uh, yeah, that's my thing. Like, I, the subs for me, it's like, I want to sew, I want to do things while I'm watching, and I can't do that with subs. Oh, I can do that with subs. I mean, sewing can be... Whatever, you don't do shit. Well, <laughs> uh, this explains how you knew to just call me Onryo, you know, about honorifics. Yes, exactly. Uh, so, so, yeah, so I prefer dubs, Onryo, but... This, last year, I got started getting into visual story novels, and a lot, like it's very hard to. Find. What in gay hell? What's the matter? It's Britney, bitch. <laughs> Welcome in, Piper. Uh, it's very hard to find dubbed visual story novels. Like there are so many visual story novels, and most of them are Japanese voices. So. Yeah. Latex. Yeah, and so I think I've just started to get used to that. Um, Ooh, except that one English one, AI. Yeah, that yeah. Was working out awesome. Yeah, there are a couple good ones out there that are English, but for the most part, there's just a lot that is, you know, subs. So it's English subs with Japanese voices. So, so yes, I am new. I, I am used to the honor fix and stuff. Oh yeah, PSL. Here you go, Piper. <sighs> <laughs> there you go. Fresh fresh off the, the brewer, or whatever you want to call it. How's it going, Piper? Happy Sunday. Um, I showed off my cheer performance uh, earlier. Oh, we just watched No Subs, too. Uh, had a long night with Glad. Ooh, jinkies. Sounds like jinkies. Uh, I hope that, hope that went well. Damn, you missed it. Yeah, it's all good. Uh, so yeah, I'll probably show off the chair performance again at some point here uh, during the stream. I've been up since 4 a.m. So I played a bunch of Genshin and then now we're doing Jared Cafe hanging out. So very much jinkies. <laughs> good, good. I'm glad y'all are making up for lo uh, lost time. Need some wine? Yes. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I was just talking about how music video season is over. Um, I still might do one here or there and obviously since I'm raising funds uh, and gonna write a parody song based on the results of the fundraiser. Um, I'll be working on that one, right? But I'm not gonna be actively working on a bunch of music videos for a while because instead I'll be making some cosplays, so. I said you wanted to do it. What? 
Oh, oh wait. Oh, the art, yeah, the artifacts too, I guess. Well, I got my coffee. This is my third cup, <laughs> but I'm on decaf now. I only did one cup of caffeinated, so. Try to keep my caffeine limited, but I still need my coffee to go poop, so that's my thing. I know you, you say a season is over, but doesn't mean you don't play around. Exactly, I have so many ideas, right? And I've actually, um, I actually did some writing while I was at my aunt's this last weekend. What is the point of decaf? The point of decaf is still to have coffee to go poop, but not get over caffeinated. That's the, that's the thought. So that's what I like. Plus I like the delivery. It's a delivery method for my creamer. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's when she says coffee, it's not I, coffee. I, I creamer like, with an addition Yeah. I like a little coffee with my creamer, you know? Girl, they make poop pills now. They don't work. Believe me, I've tried everything under the sun. And just some coffee in the morning does it. And I'm good. So Creamer, they make shot glasses. <laughs> I like my creamer. I like it. It's, an, it's a, an enjoyable experience, you know? It annoys me when I go into chat and because they can't pronounce on Rio, they tell me I'll just call you Sam. No! Yeah, that's. Uh, I can see why that would be annoying. Uh, it's like someone who really doesn't understand honorifics. <laughs> out of everything, that's what they choose. Yeah. Annoys me when I tender in a chat because I can't pronounce oh tender. They tell me I'll just call you tender. <laughs> well, I mean, that is tender. I mean, yeah, tender. Of course. But yeah, I hear that on real. But yeah, I actually didn't know much about honor honorifics until I started playing visual story novels. Because of that, like I said, there's just so much like Japanese. Well, and also you, you don't really do, do the sub. Yeah, anime. exactly. So, but since Japanese uh, and English subs is like one of the only mediums for most visual story novels, like you just have to. So, I think the only thing I'd run into before that was senpai, because everybody in the cosplay uh, community talks about that. Like any anybody who is who they look up to in cosplay as a senpai kind of thing. So I kind of already knew about senpai, but... But San and Chan and Kan Khan and all that stuff, I didn't know. Piper might really stream today. Awesome. What are you going to play, Piper? I call no one senpai. <laughs> well, that's what she says right this second. <laughs> hey, Steve Hot Pro, welcome in. Grab some latex. Oh, Piper, I, uh... Latex. Did I tell you or did I tell someone else? Oh yeah, I think I told you already. Okay, so we got Steve and Piper here. Um, let me show off the, the cheer performance again. It's real cool. I'm just gonna show this off several times while I'm on the stream. <laughs> so this is what I did yesterday. Yeah, Senpai is like teacher. All right, here we go. Ten. I the back helped him lift her up. Yeah, we've got a couple of purple hair people. Yeah. back up. Oh, Onrio, you had a friend that did a voice in One Piece? Who? Star oh yeah, Bessie started his acting career with English dub work on anime. He did a voice. That's cool. That's awesome. Piper, yeah, she got up there. Yeah, we were supposed to have like a pyramid there. 
<laughs> but so one of the flyers didn't go up for that, but <coughs> send by Laura. Yeah, sure. Sent by Laura. <laughs> Sent by Laura Croft. How are you doing, Steve? Happy Sunday. Would you like some coffee or some tea or a latte? Let me know. He voiced Brahm. Oh shit. I don't, I'm not familiar with One Piece, but that's pretty cool. I'm also not very good with keeping track of voice actors, honestly. Everybody, I know people that are just like, oh, this is that voice actor, this voice actor, and I'm just like, how do you know all these people? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yet. Now she will. <laughs> Ryan wants some tea. All right, here you go. There's some tea for you. Or did you want some booba tea? <laughs> well... <laughs> Just try, trying to figure out something to do. Gotcha. Ryan needs Pepsi. I think he does. That's for sure. I'm going to get it. I thought you already had Pepsi. I drank it. Oh, okay. Let's get more Pepsi. When did we get bananas? Oh, it's just left over from the yesterday. So feel free. He went into regular acting from there to do Breaking Bad and the B Blacklist. Holy, Holy crap. That's some, I mean, I don't know Blacklist, but Breaking Bad is major. What part? Was it like a like an extra thing or secondary? Like what? Uh, I guess it's an extra on a big movie. It's more serious. Yeah. Me yeah. Shark. So my son, Me Shark, also. So if we do his little BDSM thing. <laughs> BDSM. This guy, he is, a, he is an extra Tonight. on Bridesmaids, it's kind of cool. CBT. <laughs> he was Skinny Pete, Skinny Pete, Breaking Bad. So Charles Baker, huh? He looks familiar. Oh yeah, Blacklist. Perry Mason, LA Confidential. Game of View. That's him. Damn. Lots of stuff. Lethal Weapon, the TV series. Brooklyn Nine-Nine. That's, wow, he's got a long resume on IMDb. One of the directors of the Blacklist was the one who directed I Am... Oh, I Am Samantha! Oh, cool, yeah. So Piper is actually an actress as well on Real. Um, and I I, uh, I was I was on a flight and I watched on the Alaska Air movies things, I Am Samantha, and I was like, wait a minute, that's Piper. <laughs> I was like, are you on I Am Samantha? It's kind of funny. Oh, he gets typecast as a drug dealer? I got, I gotcha. Well, I myself have I have an IMDb, but I've only been in one movie, <laughs> and it was you know it's like a B movie, so it's 90 minutes, you know, like a full full length, but um, but it didn't like get shown in theaters or anything, so it's fair, and it was free budget, you know, so it was not great, but but it's still fun, you know, about vampires and elves and all that stuff. Yeah, of course Piper has the IMDb, because I mean Piper has done a lot of different stuff. From what I understand, you're all way cooler than me. Whatever, Steve. You're cool too. My picture isn't up there at the moment, but I still have one. Oh yeah, I still pay the monthly thing to be able to like have more control over my profile or whatever. Yeah, that's me. And Piper, if you want to post yours, you can too. I think you're a mod, so you can do that. I think. I'm lazy with famous people around me. Yeah, I just have the one movie on mine. <laughs> but yeah, your friend, uh, he has a ton of shit. I'll be paying for it soon because of my new job, be able to work on it more. Heck yeah, girl. That's awesome. I'm glad things are working out for you finally.
Nice, let's take a look. Piper Davida. Da How do you say that? How do you say your middle name? Davida? What? Or Davida? Davida? Hop, murder calls. Hey, I'm Smith is not on here. Davida, Davida. Okay, gotcha. Kind of like Avida, Davida. Todd the Zombie. That music, music video isn't on the site at all. Oh, okay, gotcha. Fun fact, your viewer of the month, Sargent, is wearing a mask made famous by a Japanese pro wrestler. Yes, and he's a big wrestling fan, so I'm not surprised to hear that. Um, Sargent's all about wrestling. That's what he that's what he calls it, wrestling. Huh. So, well, now we gotta ask him since we know it's a, a famous Japanese pro wrestler. Yeah, wrestling, <laughs> exactly, wrestling. Except he doesn't put a W in it. Oh, thanks for the host, Ryan Rainbow. Let me get you your points. I think Ryan Rainbow's going to be floating. slated. You're so cool, you're floating and shit. Yeah, there, there's Stargen This game is right the there. best game. That's, that's Stargen's voice. So yeah, I think, I don't know. So this will be six months of the Veer of the Month program. And... Well, I guess we'll see how June goes, right? But I might reset the counter and like allow anybody to, to get it again. Um, you know, rather than waiting a year, I don't know. We'll have to see. Oh, we ever got from Storage's voice. I know, he did the face cam uh, like once or twice. And then he's like, I don't like it. So he stopped doing it. And I was like, damn it. But when he did it, he wore a mask, so that's that's why this is appropriate. <laughs> you missed the three days. He missed, <laughs> yeah, exactly. What a gay hell! Yeah, he did. He did a face cam. Uh, like yeah, it was like three days or something, and then he's like, I don't like it. <laughs> Fuck my life. I know you'll never get to see it again. I keep trying to tell him like you should do it again, but. Two nights with my stepmom. It was amazing. It was oh, I'm glad. I'm glad we had a good time. Um, so it's Glet moved in with you now. So y'all living together again? More and more streamers are not comfortable being on camera. I have no problems. I was on stage singing all through school, so I lost my stage fright early. Oh well, good for you, Unreal. Are you a streamer too then? And what do you stream if so? Um, yeah, I'm the same way, Unreal. Uh, I see a lot of people that are doing the VTubing thing. And even people that are switching to VTubing. I've seen people wear masks on stream. Um, all kinds of stuff. Or just not having cam. I don't know what that is. Ariel's What's about that? The VTubing thing I kind of get because it's like... Uh, there's, there's some cute anime avatar kind of things that, you know that you can put up there and you know if you if it makes you feel better you don't you don't have to put on makeup or something or you know wear clothes or something it, you know it makes sense but I don't know for me myself like I like the human connection and on both sides of the camera so when I'm streaming I like it and then also when someone else is streaming I, I prefer someone seeing someone and like feeling I feel like I'm connecting better 
Piper during the funeral, I was able to forgive and let go of my anger towards my uncle. Oh, good. That's good. It's never good to like hold on to that stuff, but it's it's tough sometimes, you know. He's moved in last night, and that bitch I love, or that bitch I live with hates it. Oh, good, good. You're, you're starting off right with her then. <laughs> He can give her shit, I'm sure. On your own semi-retired streamer, I'm planning on coming back soon. Cool, cool. Well, what do you, what do you stream? Latex. So you're doing just tra just chatting the last time you stream. Hey, Darkly, welcome in. Grab some latex. Would you like some coffee or some tea or maybe latex. a latte? Latex. Just got coffee ready. Most of my chores here. Have another cup. <laughs> have another cup of coffee. Since you got all the most of your chores done. <laughs> Yeah, we got our, our cleaning people coming in, so we've got to get get some stuff kind of ready for that. Like, yeah, you got to remove the dishwasher. Well, we'll see about that. <laughs> I meant like clothes on the floor and stuff that needs to hang up. You got to remove the dishwasher. Whatever. Like a good girl. Whatever. Remove the dishwasher. Whatever. Coffee. I have a beer to finish from last night. Then <laughs> I'll have coffee. Hey, hey, whatever floats your boat. You just put it in the coffee. Uh, Thank you. Beer. Put beer in the coffee? Gross. <laughs> Thank you. Um, true variety with heavy influence on fighting games and souls games. Okay, cool, cool. I'll we'll have to give you a follow. Feels like a lot of people are... Um, it feels like a lot of people that were streaming in the pandemic are stopping now. Or just streaming less. I mean, I've been streaming somewhat less, but I still have a, ske a monthly schedule and, you know, all that stuff. I want, yeah, some, I want some wine, Pre preferably large size. <laughs> they make a coffee beer, but I'd rather have an Irish coffee. Yeah, I'm not a fan of, well, I don't like the taste of coffee. That's the thing. I don't like the taste of beer. I want to douse my coffee with creamer because I don't like mocha coffee taste, you know? So mocha ice cream is out. I'm not a fan of like Kahlua, all that stuff. So that's me. I drink coffee to poop. <laughs> but yeah, Darkly, so you're doing your chores. Uh, we're just talking about all kinds of stuff, really. But um, I, uh, I'm just getting back into cosplay making season, and we started working on latex Tifa last week. So we'll be working on that some more. Well, you had a job through the pandemic and kept streaming. A lot of people are... Oh, that's true. That's true, Piper. That's a good point. Um, a lot of people maybe were unemployed, had more time to stream. Um, but then you also, like... So Jen Jen was here, and she was talking about how she's more, she's outside. She's doing homesteading and farming and stuff like that. She's actually, you know, doing not virtual things now. Yeah, she's doing shit out. And I feel, I feel like a lot of people are switching back out of virtual and to, to real real life real world things again darkly irish coffee is whiskey and coffee so you could just take out the coffee just have the whiskey i guess so i guess so darkly <laughs> on real i'd stop to run a promotional stream team to promote other streamers going through full-time to achieve partnership oh okay gotcha So you stopped streaming to, to run a promotional stream team? So that was like a, another account or something? The oldest boy graduated high school yesterday, so a big weight off his shoulders, only two more kids to go in five years. Damn, okay, well congrats to the oldest. Um, that's, that's a good accomplishment, you know, getting the high school degree. That's cool, more cosplay making and the cheer stuff too, that'll be exciting, yeah! Yeah, Darkly, uh, we, t we performed uh, yesterday. I think I just everybody that comes in, I'm going to replay this, I think. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, we performed yesterday. Let me show you how it went. Yeah, it's 
was yesterday. <coughs> <coughs> no, same account. Oh, same account. Just focused on other people. It was my way to get back to the community. The team was called the 13 Ghosts. Helped 19 streamers to get partnership. Damn, how, that's cool. What kind of stuff did you do to do that? That's kind of, that's kind of crazy. I've, I've never heard of that kind of thing, so I'm curious. Darkly, I've realized that more of us are getting back into work schedule and less time to work to watch streams. Yeah, exactly. I think streams are better than TV because of spontaneousness and interactions. Yeah, agreed. Um, yeah, I mean, I've, over the pandemic, during work, I would watch streams, right? And I feel like not as many people are on and I'm not as interested anymore during work. And so I'm back to, I'm back to watching Netflix. <laughs> here and there. By the way, that was awesome. I hope it's on the spotlight of your weekly emails. Thanks, Darkly. Um, yeah. Be well, we're, so we're performing again next Saturday. Um, and yeah, I will be sending out some emails with some pictures probably from the, from the Pride event. But yeah, well, so we're, we're going to have a bunch more performances and you can bet I'll be, I'll be showing more off um, this month um, as I raise funds for Cheers Seattle. Uh, through my fundraiser um yeah so it's just gonna be a month long of fun and cheer and dancing and performing so i'm excited uh the video itself uh i don't know if cheer seattle will post it um i prob i probably shouldn't um because it's uh because it's it's the uh, like their copyright of like their performance and so I can't, I don't think I can personally post it anywhere, but um, if Cheer Seattle posts it, then I can share it, that kind of thing. Yeah, legality, other stuff. Um, I don't know if they will post it because we didn't get that last pyramid up. <laughs> so it's a little, it'll, it sucks a little bit that we didn't like get that last thing to work right. But maybe the next performance we will, and then I can post, they can post that one, and I can share that one. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. Andrea started early on Twitch, so I use my streaming knowledge and connections to promote and coach. So that's really cool. That's cool. Um, but yeah, so that's my my charity fundraiser I'm doing. Um, donating twenty or fifty dollars or more uh, will help you uh, be able to vote on new topics for my next parody video. So that's the incentive. Um, but also it just, it goes to a good cause. It goes to our cheer team, um, it's, which is a full volunteer 501c3 nonprofit. Uh, we just, we raise funds for the LGBT community in Seattle. We have a beneficiary every year and we cut them a check. Um, but yeah, our, our, we keep our costs to run the business really low. Nobody has a salary, etc. So it's just, uh, it's just a way for us as a, adult volunteers to uh, practice, learn to cheerlead, perform, and raise spirits and funds for the community. So it's kind of fun. Um, I'm, it's, I'm, this is my third season, but my first season doing Pride because of the pandemic. So I'm, it's, I'm extra excited this year, I think. Fun stuff. But yeah, I'll be, I'll be uh, kind of touting that all month long. And I'll also, if you, if you're on Facebook, the funder is on Facebook. Um, you can join that event and get updates. I'll be posting updates on it all the time with all our cheer stuff too. And if you're not on Facebook, you can always donate through PayPal um, at cheerseattle.org and just let me know and uh, I, can, I can give you your votes for the parody stuff too. But yeah, uh, so I'm actually the treasurer of, of Cheer Seattle, so I have to manage all the money and all the taxes and all the all the insurance and licensing. It's kind of nuts. <clears throat> hey, speaking of treasurer, there's Mark. Grab some latex. Latex. <clears throat> oh yeah, Mark, do you want a latte? Here, let me, let me get you a latte. I was just showing off our performance today on stream. I've showed it off several times. <laughs> yeah, there's your latte. It has a heart on it for you. 
boring taxes money stuff. I know. Yeah, being treasurer is a lot. Thankfully, so Mark was the previous treasurer of True Seattle. And he's in that performance video that I showed off earlier. Um, <clears throat> no more latex after my day. <laughs> yeah, he's also had a, has a, like, he didn't, he didn't get much sleep Friday night, so he was um, running on not much yesterday. It doesn't have like one as soon as you're waking up, or I mean, yesterday. Today. I know. I so I couldn't sleep past four this morning, Mark. So, but I still got six hours. I went to bed at ten. So, don't out me. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then I was oh yeah, I was just talking about my fundraiser and stuff too. Yeah, that can be stressful. Yeah, the treasure stuff is a lot. Thankfully, so I was saying Mark was the previous treasure. And he has documented like all the processes for me, so that's been very helpful. Um, it, but it makes me feel like, like it's it's. I can't imagine someone like being like, "All right, I'm done being treasurer. See ya," and leaving. Like, thankfully, Mark stuck around this last year to help me figure things out. Um, yeah. So actually, so. I'm just thinking to myself, like, if I ever wanted to pass treasure off, I would I would have to do something similar. It just feels like you'd be leaving someone in a lurch otherwise. You all peeps, I'm just so proud of this human being named Jericho. <laughs> Aw, thanks. Yeah, we, we had a good performance yesterday. We had fun. Um, thankfully Hannah left her Bluetooth speaker and so I, I was a uh, DJ, I played DJ the rest of the day and uh, we had some music going, we did some dancing at the booth, uh, Mark played the banana game, we still have some, I think I have the banana you used actually. <laughs> She's grown so much in the philanthropic world, aww. Well, I've gotten better at fundraising, but so Mark was actually my dance monkey during the pandemic. Um, and why I say that is like, he would come up, like we'd talk and I'd be like, oh, I wanna do this. And he'd be like, well, what about this? And so he'd give me ideas because I was stuck inside and I couldn't do anything. Um, and so that's how I, I got into it. I was able to do more fundraising virtually and stuff. Banana grows. Yeah, I think we still have it. So we did, we did a pass the banana game where you have to pass the banana with your legs to each other. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Sorry, I was away, I was getting myself some watermelon. Ooh, watermelon. Watermelon strawberry. <laughs> well, welcome back, Fiber. Bonjour, bonjour. That's what my uh, ballet teacher always says. Bonjour, bonjour. Something, something about banana between no, not that. <laughs> and then uh, we had someone blow up a condom, and then we passed the condom <laughs> between our legs too. It was, uh, it was pretty entertaining, I have to say. Uh, the the booth next to us was like, oh, Juicy Seattle has some good games or something like that. <clears throat> I passed the real banana, not the metaphorical one. <laughs> yes. The literal banana. <laughs> the cabana boy has spoken about the banana between his legs. Yes, as he does. <laughs> yeah, so it was a good time yesterday. And like I said, we're performing again next weekend. And then I go to New York. So we, we perform Saturday. I go to New York on Sunday. <clears throat> I fly home on Friday. I go to Portland on Saturday night. And then we perform again on Sunday in Portland. It's, it's a lot. It's going to be a lot. You're sore, but not from the banana. <laughs> Legit. My wrists have been hurting all week, actually. <clears throat> what the heck? <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> Yeah, my wrists have been hurting like crazy. So that's, I usually don't perform with my wrist wraps, but yesterday I did just because, one, I could cover them with the sleeves, but. 
Yeah, yeah Piper sore is sore from the banana. <laughs> Her boyfriend just got back yesterday, and so <laughs> they had some uh, different kind of banana happening last night. <laughs> But yeah, speaking of latex, we did blow up a condom and play with it. I have several pictures. Oh, did you see the picture I posted on Instagram, Mark? <clears throat> There's a picture on my Instagram of Mark with a banana between his legs, so you can check that out. <laughs> it's pretty good. But I did post some photos of, of yesterday in the Calandra too. So in my Facebook group, if you're not if you're not in there, I don't have a Discord, but my Facebook group is where I post like going live updates and just general photos, fitness photos, and just whatever I'm whatever I'm up to, kind of stuff. <clears throat> We have to teach that young people that safe sex is fun. Exactly. Safe sex is important. <clears throat> exactly. Actually, I'm still surprised at when I was single and dating, how many guys were just like, didn't want to use condoms. I was like, what? Piper is like, I was safe-ish. <laughs> Well, you're you're with uh, one partner anyway. <clears throat> I was safe tender. Tender, tender safe. I was so safe. I stayed on the bed. Exactly. Don't want you falling off. That's what the rope was for. <laughs> Well, look at this. I've been streaming for four hours. I've been up for four hours. Blasphemy on a Sunday. Yeah. Ryan just got up. I went back to bed when you got up before. I was like, fuck that. Yeah. I don't know. I think... I don't know. I think it's a mixture of... Uh, being sore. Like, my legs... My legs were so sore yesterday. And not from... Not from stunting as much as I think just standing. Oh, standing for hours. Same thing happened on Thursday. Thursday, after I did the latex stream for four hours, I was like, my legs were just crazy. Mark, I'm hungry. I only ate nuts yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was eating those nuts a lot. Uh, why did you only eat nuts yesterday? <laughs> Piper. Mmm, nuts. I think I'm thinking about having pizza today, but I gotta look up the calories. I forget what the DiGiorno gluten-free calorie thing is. Ariel's. What, I love pecans? I'm sure that's what you were talking about. Oh, cashews. Oh, hashtag diet? Okay, gotcha. Yeah, Ryan likes cashews. Speaking of that, I'm eating them right now. I had meat lover stuff crust night before last. Piper, that's our wedding feast. <laughs> All right, how much? How many calories is half of a DiGiorno gluten-free pizza? Eight hundred. So technically, I can have a whole gluten-free pizza today, and still have my breakfast. Okay, that's what I'm doing today. Hey, Canadian Bones is here. Show up talking about eating nuts and calories. This is how I know I clicked the right channel. <laughs> Mark, I look like a whale in Spanx. Whatever, you did not. Canadian Bones. Let's get Canadian Bones some latex. latex. Wait, is our wedding in September? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but we need some Pizza Hut stuff crust. Let me tell you. Mark, wait, I had breakfast. Oh, you had bre breakfast sauces? That's random. 
Well, hopefully, you said you had to get work done after, um, god damn it, zoom zoom. Why is none of my shit working? Well, there's, there's a zoom zoom. Manual zoom zoom. Um, oh yeah, did you have to work more last night, Mark? Hopefully you got to bed at a good time. Nope, you didn't? Oh, wait. You didn't get to bed at a good time? Or you didn't ha didn't have to work more? Hopefully, the, the not, not having to work more. Oh, Canadian Bones, do you want some coffee? Do you want some tea? Do you want a latte? Me Shark, welcome in, son. Latex. Oops, I meant to latex you, but I shouted you out instead. Happy yes, Latex. There we go. Canadian Bones wants coffee. Here you go. Uh, mimosa. mimosa. I should add that to the menu. I, maybe I will do that. That would be cool. That's like your total morning. I know. I, should, I need to update my menu for Jared Cafe, so we will get that updated at some point. I feel like I'm using Mimosa right now. We should buy some, some stuff for that. That's good. We have champagne. We just don't have... We don't have the fucking budget. Yeah, but if I want a whole pizza, I can't have that today. <laughs> well, we got places to go there. <laughs> yeah. Go look at some more houses. Be disappointed. Yes. BDSM. Yeah, there we go. <sighs> Tonight. Need to add wine for when you do Jer Cafe after dark. Yeah, that's true. All right, I think we got enough people to show the performance off again. Here we go again. <laughs> so, this is what we were doing yesterday. This is what me and Mark were doing. showing that off on stream today when it, when more people come in so that's what we were doing yesterday me so me and mark were with the team having fun with that mark's saying it's the only place where i can mimosa or bellini yeah that's true you can have one at the jerry cafe how's it going me shark how's it going uh, booty guardian canadian bones hang on it's a bible discussion study meeting time better update the channel description <laughs> yes bdsm bible discussion and study meeting. That's what BDSM stands for. Oh, God. <laughs> I really need a mimosa Mark, aside from that, we raised some... Yeah, we raised a bunch of funds, so that's good. If you want to be a part of raising funds, my fundraiser is happening all month long, and you can vote on topics for my next parody video. You can also buy uh, my fundraising prints. I have a print store, and several of the prints that are up there um, are... Uh, or uh, all the profits for that will go towards Cheer Seattle as well. Canadian Bones, very Sunday appropriate. Chillin', might go back to sleep. Meshuck, I hear that. I've been up since four, so I totally hear it. Yeah, <laughs> Ryan, Ryan just said, <laughs> your mom's been up since four. Smile on lips, open up your hips. <laughs> That's like Mark's new saying. Misha, you were still up at 4? <laughs> Went to bed at 6.30? Holy crap, Misha. Holy shit. Wait, 6.30? 5, 4, 3? Oh, okay, so 3.30 you, were, you went to bed. Okay. My time. <laughs> I heard that as an insult for some reason. Wait, what? Oh, your mom? You said your mom. Your mom your got mom. up at 4 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> 
though. He's talking about me. Yeah, because me sharks are son. Oh, you're streaming Elden Ring. You're back to playing Elden Ring again? Like, I don't see him on. No, he was. Oh. Yeah. Streaming late. Got to Moog. Oh, shit. That guy's a pain in the ass. Oh, Booty. Booty, if you're still there, uh, let me know if you want some coffee or tea. I do need to add mimosa to the menu. It's true. Yeah, I realized then after like three seconds. <laughs> Your mom's been up since 4 a.m. <laughs> Take a copy. All right, here you go. The real question is, is it actually ever an insult? Because, like, if your mom's out at 3 a.m. to have a good time, that's actually a good thing. You should be happy for her. <laughs> How's it going, booty? Me, Shark, I gave up because my brain wasn't functioning anymore. Oh, okay. Yeah, you, you stay up that late in the morning, that, ha that happens, you know? I find my stomach gets hungry weird too, like weird hunger pangs. <clears throat> and then my I just feel all crappy. I get uh, very grouchy and nasty. Yeah, you do. You get that in the morning too though. Sometimes. <clears throat> Mark, is there a service for Jerica to rub my fun rub my fundraising feet? <laughs> there's there's not <clears throat> there's not such a fundraiser. <laughs> Or such a service, I should say. They be tired. Yeah, my feet, my, my legs though. I don't. My feet were fine, but my legs were just like. So I took a, a good Epsom salt bath last night. So they're better today, but man. From all the standing on Thursday and Saturday, I'm just like, it's just standing, but it's it's crazy. Yeah, we need a hot tub, Mark. We need a hot tub. Oh, Mark, I don't think I told you. Uh, I've been telling everybody on stream, but we... Uh, oh, Namin's here, too. Yeah, grab some latex. Uh, hot tub's closed for Ryan. Um, oh, yeah, so Ryan and I put an offer on a house on Friday. Um, but unfortunately, we didn't quite get undercut. It's weird. Like, they, they didn't offer... We offered more. But it was cash. But it was cash. Cash is king. Yeah. It's like, where you go? I'm you go still to the hospital. You have cash. I know. They get you in there instantly, but and you still, get the best service in the world. I'm just like, you could have gotten ten grand more. Cash is king. And who sits around with seven hundred k in their freaking bank account? Like what? Hopefully someday me. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty good, you know. I have a good size down payment, but I don't have seven hundred k in my account, you know. Freaking crazy. Moving to Meshock State? No, no, we're not moving to New York, that's for sure. Um, or to Boston. We're not moving to Massachusetts either. Um, but we're trying to find a house because we're currently in a condo. So, hell, I wish I had 5K in my account. Yeah, I hear you. No, Meshock's like, no one wants to move here. No, not Ohio either. Booty's like, oh, buddy, I wish I had 500 in my account. <clears throat> I wish Musk would hurry up and buy Twitter. Yeah, Ryan's like betting on the stock market or something. Mark, you have a workshop? Wait, oh, you have a workshop today? <sighs> I think we're going to go look at another house today, but... That and the cleaning, the cleaning ladies are coming. But other than that, we're just gonna relax. I just, I don't want to do a whole lot today after yesterday. <laughs> Imagine he did take over Twitter. He's building up to it. Was I had a dollar so I could holla? <laughs> oh, workshop I can move into. Oh right, yeah, yeah. He's got like a barn in the back, making, making, playing with his wood. That's what Mark's doing. <laughs> oh yeah, Mark. Um, it's my cosplays in my closet Steve, all the time. The it's been one for five year months since they've seen Latex. the lights. Jerica too baddie. Jerica too baddie. Jerica too baddie. 
Wood is fun. Uh, thanks, Steve Hot Prowl, for being part of the clan for five months. Let's bring a character in to say hello real quick. Um, let's do this one. Oh, come on. There we go. Tony, where are you going? We have more shopping to do. I know, I know. I just have to do this one thing and then we can get back to that. Okay, well hurry up. These shoes are on sale over here. Ooh, shoes. Okay, okay. Oh, there you are. I was looking for you all. Uh, thank you for uh, joining the Jerry Kandra Clandra. Jerry Kandra had talked to me about uh, introducing myself and welcoming you all in to the Clandra. It's not a cult, from what I hear. Um, but yeah, so I'm Romy from Romy Michelle, inventor of post-it notes, as y'all know. Like, it's totally what we did <laughs> and, you know, what we're known for. So, yeah. Anyways, enjoy your time in the Calandra. Wearing your latex. You look so fabulous. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. So, yeah, let's leave it at that. And I've got to get back to shopping. So, see you all later. All right. Well, thanks, Romy, for that lovely intro for Steve Pop Prowl. And thanks, Steve, for being part of the Calandra for five months. Finally, Meshark notices me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot Meshark, and, Meshark knows Mark. That's <laughs> funny. Because we all got to hang out. Meshark's like, no, I farted. No, I'm ashamed, so thanks for noticing. <laughs> Should I get French toast? No, French toast is horrible. Gross. Gross. It's because she can't taste the eggs. But I agree, wood is fun. How's it going, Steve? But yeah, I don't, I don't think I want to move into the workshop full of wood. Namvin, what's up? Okay, so we got Namvin. We got Steve. Oh, because I don't like eggs, Namvin. I hate eggs, and I can taste it easily with French toast. Ugh. Yeah, pancakes are good. At least you didn't queef. I don't know why that auto modded. <laughs> Steve doesn't like French toast either. Yeah, Steve. High fives. Yeah, we're not queefing. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, just egg bread. It's true, but Jerrica does not like eggs. Pancakes are best, but sometimes we need some French toast to be different. Yeah, egg bread. Ugh, gross. Exactly what French toast is. Like, why? Why would you ruin a perfectly good piece of bread? I like it. <laughs> Alright, well, we got a couple people in here that haven't seen it yet, so let's do here the Here we perform. go again. <laughs> the performance again. She's the boss. Uh, yeah, after the back and knee injury, I'm just like, no, I'm not doing tumbling. What, you remember meeting me for the first time? You did not. <laughs> Senpai, what are you doing with that ruler? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, eggs, like I used to, as a kid, my parents made me eat them, and so I put like shit ton of hot sauce. 
Sorry, this is not what you think it is. It's me pouring hot sauce. <laughs> I might be meeting Jericho for the first time in a few months. Yeah, hopefully in Atlanta. You didn't have, yeah, that's right. I didn't have purple hair. That's right. When I first joined the cheer team, I was blonde. It's almost three years ago. Club. I never was a long time ago, same thing, but. Welcome in club. How's it going? Happy Sunday. Would you like some coffee or some tea or a latte? Um, and that goes for anybody, Nanvin, anybody that came in, I didn't ask. Like, if you want coffee, tea, or latte, or a PSL, let me know. Doing good, not far off from bed. Oh, yeah, totally. Duh. Don't be questioning my memory. <laughs> Tender. Without, Jericho without purple hair. I know, it was weird. It was weird. Almost three, three, three years ago, almost. Without purple tender. It's like a shiny Pokemon. 14 hour shift done, gotta be back at work. Oh shit, club. Yeah, you need to get some sleep. Well thanks for stopping in. Hope you're hope you're taking care of yourself. Ryan's a good influence. Got a purple everything. Yeah, Ryan is a good influence in that though. My ex-husband does not like colored hair like that. So he wouldn't he wouldn't have been for it. But Ryan was all about it. Made of the purple hair, it's an evolution. Yeah, exactly. Wait, what's what's this clip? I don't remember this one. Oh no. I think this is when you were doing some stuff. Okay, was my parents wanted to eat them, and so I put like a shit ton of hot sauce. Oh, <laughs> it's me doing the gyration. Okay. Mark, that's why I ignored her. Whatever. I'm sure. I'm sure. It's right. Ryan wants to dye his hair per, uh, rainbow. We've got to figure that out though. Kind of, it's a lot of colors to have to figure out. Oh yeah, or blue would be good. I think blue would be good. Be easier than the rainbow one. And cheaper. I don't care about money. Not when it comes to my looks. Piper says, do it, Ryan. So, Mark, did we meet at tryouts? I don't, I don't remember you. But... <laughs> um, what, I, I first interviewed with Chinda and Hannah. Uh, when I first tried out. And I remember Umaru and a couple, like Ashley, a couple people stand out from that first, first like clinic or whatever. My first introduction to Cheer Seattle. Hey Booty, thanks for the, the hydrate. When I run my first event, gonna go Aohawk Rainbow style? Oh, nice, yeah. Didn't I drop you off there? Uh, I think he picked me up, at least. I think I, I think I took the train. But you might have dropped me off at some point, too. A lot of colors to figure out that's what the salon is for. It's true. Club next year? You should, club. Ariel's in love. Mark, um, yeah, it was at Seattle University. Ouch, I was not remembered by you. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Chicken milking. Oh dear, oh dear. Can someone take care of that? Let's not deal with that. Yeah. <laughs> That's a new one. Chicken milking? Really? Really? Jericho has a good style. So yeah. Bet. <laughs> Sit back and relax. And there's always some Yahoo coming in. I figured, but the salon is the ones who will figure it out to do it, so I say do it. I'd love to see it happen. Yeah, totally. Yeah, we've talked to my, my lady about it, so I've been going to her for like a decade. <laughs> no, I, what I remember about Mark early on in cheer was that he was grumpy. <laughs> he was just grumpy. Uh, and then he took me home from a thing and he dropped me off at a Safeway and he said it was like the, the sketchy Safeway or something. And he didn't want to drop me off there. <laughs> Piper wants purple highlights, nice. Or purple lowlights, yeah, something. It's a good way to start, like to, to experiment with a color too. 
course, with darker hair, you gotta bleach it first, but you know, you can bleach parts of it and then color those parts. I was just doing the hot sauce thing again there. <laughs> Mark was, still am. Still grumpy. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, uh, y'all know, y'all know Mark from his video, you know, he can't have him be hangry, so. Piper, not bright ones like Jericho's color that would only be in sections that get seen more when the hair is curled. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah, they stand out more in that way. Girl, that same thing was total sketch. Yeah, that was one of the first times like we we interacted. I feel like Mark. I don't feel like we interacted a lot until until that that it was a running event we went to. I think, and then we went to lunch, and then you took me home. Tender. I know Mark from when you stole his hat and faced you, <laughs> fool. <laughs> Well, Mark's been in a lot of my videos, and then he has the one uh, White Sands one that's all all about Mark. So, if you haven't seen it, check it out on my YouTube, or you can request a parody in the channel. Yeah, Seward Park, exactly. Exactly. All right. So, what's the weather report? We're we gonna go play tennis today. I doubt it. <clears throat> And nope. Is it gonna be crappy weather? It's not working for us. Yeah. We go out there and park. We go to Marks and go in the hot tub. <laughs> you can request my services to monetize you. Yeah, Mark's my agent. He's always trying to monetize me. Well. He wants me to start a fans only. <laughs> Not to be confused with an OnlyFans. Piper's like, monetize me. to say senpai yeah now that she knows what that means <laughs> <laughs> want to be famous but unlike most people's opinion about me I think I can't sing have I even I don't know if I've heard you sing to be clear I'm not a real agent <laughs> Mark's like to be clear I'm not actually an agent Oh yeah, I was saying earlier, Mark, uh, Stargen, who is, is one of your uh, fans, um, is, is our viewer of the month here, and that's him in his uh, wrestling mask. Apparently it's a very famous mask. Yeah. Mark's just a data, data an analyst. Analyst. Yeah, cause just like how he went to Canal Street in New York. I'm actually going back to Canal Street. Not this coming week, but the, the week after. <clears throat> Feel like an e-bitch now that I have, that I've used Senpai. <laughs> Ooh, all I saw in that was anal. Just do what you're told. Yes, sir. <laughs> he choked. Yeah, going back to Canal Street next week. Not next. Yeah, next week. Not this coming week. I don't know. I don't know if I'll see a Broadway show. I don't know if I have time since I'm leaving on Friday. Where are you? I'm going to New York next week. Tender. You're not supposed to choke on it, Ryan. It means you're doing it wrong. <laughs> well, he wouldn't know. He doesn't have experience in that. Yeah, I got no. Tender, you're doing it tender. <laughs> oh, right. Duh, Piper. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what's going on, y'all. No more music videos for a little bit. 
gearing up for uh, some cosplay plans. So like I said, Tifa from Final Fantasy VII, hopefully a Superman for Ryan, um, and maybe a White Widow in latex, we'll see. Lola Bunny, I definitely want to do Lola Bunny. <laughs> Piper, I'm the only chick with a banana in this chat. Speaking of choking, gonna wake up my husband so we can work on some more. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's I got to do with choking? What a great way to wake up. <laughs> Piper, oh yeah, I just fell in love with Mark. What do you just say? <laughs> yeah, that's Mark. I'm out, bitches. All right. Bye, Mark. Bye. <laughs> oh my God. Becky, look at her butt. <laughs> Best part of working up is soldiers in your butt. <laughs> uh, all right. Well. So yeah, for okay. So cosplays. For Emerald City, I'm thinking Tifa. I've got bye. <laughs> bye. I've got Tifa. I've got. Um, I need all more pop. I've got to make a Superman for Ryan. Yeah, that's right. And I'm gonna wear a Supergirl tutu, and then I have a Spider Gwen tutu. Something about tutu bend over. And then, <laughs> and then a White Widow, I think, is for it. So that's Emerald City in August. <clears throat> and then Dragon Con, I want to do Lola Bunny, Tifa, Starfire. I might do it. Bring a tutu. No, I can't bring a tutu. That's not gonna fit. Maybe a Velma. I think Velma might be good. Jinkies. Because a, a latex Velma would be really easy to make. Jerk, are you, wait. Jerk, are you are right. It's called bend over. <laughs> oh, you so right. Yeah, I so. I'm gonna make Ryan a spandex Superman. I haven't sewn since I was five and a half years old. I haven't sewn in like a year. No, six and a half. Years I haven't old. sewn in a month. That wants me to do. Yeah, you should. So yeah, I'm gonna do. I want to do a Velma and I want to do a Daphne, and then I'll get photos of both together. You know. But yeah, latex, of course. But the Velma would be really easy to make. It's just solid colors, you know. In fact, you don't even. If you want to do a cosplay, you just you could find the stuff on Amazon. It's so easy to. It's just like what. Uh, is it orange top and red skirt or red top and orange skirt? I forget. But one of those. Jinkies. <laughs> and then you just need like the glasses, right? Oh, and a wig too. But. but yeah, so for latex, that'll be on the easier side to make. <clears throat> she doesn't do that kind of thing. If I was able to pay for Oh yeah, no. Yeah, unfortunately, one, I don't have the time. Two, I, I don't, uh, all the stuff I make is based on my measurements, and the hardest part is getting that right. And so, to think that I've tried to get doing it for someone else's measurements is just too much. So well, that's, then there's the other issue of them being not very nice. Well, yeah, but I mean, I, I've done it for friends before, but. Wow. But yeah, I don't, I just don't do commissions. Honestly, I don't make good enough quality stuff for it. And then to imagine like getting it good enough for the right measurements is because I have no train, no formal training in the, in that stuff. It's just yeah, just better I don't. But yeah, no, it, it, yeah, no harm in asking, of course. But yeah, but for Velma, you could you could find the stuff really easy. It could totally be a closet cosplay. But yeah, that's what's coming up, y'all. I'm I have to say I'm really excited about Lola Bunny. Just like that's different and out of my out of my wheelhouse. But, you know, show off the, the midriff a little bit since I've been working on it. Yeah, Amazon is everything for Velma, exactly.
Okay, I want to do a Power Girl, but I don't know when I'm going to do that. A Latex Power Girl. Can't wait to start my new So when's the new job start? Is this the, the vape? The vape store? Or is this a different one? Nice. So it's kind of right up your alley too, right? Hopefully it's easier than the one you got now. <clears throat> Just have to wait to see when they call and put me on schedule. Oh, okay, cool. cleaning ladies coming in half an hour so it's probably a good time for me to log off but let's show the performance one more time before I leave. Let's raid Taylor. We haven't been to Taylor's in a while. Um, oh, what in gay hell? What's the map? It's Britney, bitch. Well, thanks for coming out, y'all, for this Jer Cafe slash Genshin early morning stream. Um, we'll see you all later this week. I'll be doing another latex stream. Uh, maybe we'll throw a sewing stream in too. We'll see what the what time allows for. Let's go give Taylor a good uh, latex raid, shall we? Have a good one. Bye. Whoa, Jerrica, the raid. Oh my god. I'm getting inundated with race today, and I'm loving it. How are y'all? I am deep into a boss battle. I will attend to your all, all your all's emotional needs very soon, I promise.